If you want to have more influence, there's one thing that I think you can do that will make a huge difference. This is something I learned when I started my business six and a half years ago. And that is to gain influence and to promote yourself, whether that's in business or whether you're trying to build a YouTube channel, whether you're trying to make a name for yourself on social media, whatever it might be, my strong belief is that the best thing you can do is to promote other people in your field. So other people who are doing what you are doing, which sounds really counterintuitive, but when you promote other people, this, this law of reciprocity, which means that if you do something nice for somebody and it makes them feel good, they're more likely to do something positive back for you. Now, that initially can sound really manipulative, and it can be manipulative if we do it for all the wrong reasons. But if you genuinely, genuinely promote people who you believe are worthy of praise, then it's not manipulative at all. You're genuinely doing them a good turn. And if you do that without the expectation of getting something back, but just because actually it's a good thing to do and it's a nice thing to do, then you're far more likely to get that reciprocal good deed done back for you. There's something uh, I learned many, many years ago um, when I was part of a network marketing company, actually. I, I don't have anything to do with network marketing or MLMs anymore. Um, but at the time, I was part of a, a very, very well-known multi-level marketing company. And the training that we got actually was remarkably good, the self-development, personal development stuff. And I remember one of the, the teachers talking about edification and edifying other people. And the premise of edification is that you, you are more likely to grow your own business if you promote other people within the business. And of course, in terms of network marketing, it was about promoting your downline and promoting the upline. But I've found it to be a strategy that works in all walks of business. And it's certainly something that I did quite naturally when I started my business. And again, as I say, it's not about being manipulative. It is about genuinely trying to support other people who you feel are worthy of your support. And the idea with edification is that you can big somebody else up and other people will find that there's more power in you bigging somebody else up than in you bigging yourself up or them bigging themselves up even. So let me explain that because I may not have made that very clear. So if I came on here and I said, hi guys, I did a TEDx talk called ADHD and Menopausal Women, which I did by the way. And it's a great talk. And if you look on the TEDx website, it's got nearly 100,000 views and loads of comments from women who found it really helpful. That, that sounds icky, doesn't it? It's like, oh, she's a bit braggy. She's boasting. But if somebody else was to say to you, there's this TEDx talk called ADHD and Menopausal Women, and the woman talking, has, well, she's got nearly 100,000 views. And if you read the comments, you can see it's had such an impact on so many other women. You should go and watch it. You're far more likely to go and watch it then if I told you, because instead of it now being me bragging and boasting, it's somebody else kind of giving a testimonial almost or a recommendation. It's what Amazon and Trustpilot and the reason they have those recommendations, because it's like a third party endorsement. And the beauty of doing that is if somebody else promotes you, it has more impact. And if we combine edification with the law of reciprocity, then there's a very good chance that if you edify somebody else, they will reciprocate. And I, I want to keep reinforcing that this isn't about
being manipulative. It is absolutely about being genuine. And I'll give you a good example of this. And the reason why I was inspired to make this short video, I was watching YouTube this morning and watching a guy that I, I like to follow called Rob the Maritimer. And he was doing a very laid back video talking about three over 40 creators that you should watch. And he mentioned, this is Virginia Kerr, who I watch and I love. He talked about Kevin Colby, who I watch and I love. And he was also talking about Alexa Saranoia, who, funny old thing, I watch and I love. And they're all in pretty much the same genre as Rob. So they're all helping over 40 creators not over 40 people, but people over 40, to grow on their YouTube channel. And they're all very different. And what he was doing, and I don't know if he would have called it this, um, I didn't get any feeling at all that there was any manipulation or manipulative intent in his video. What he was doing was promoting and edifying other people within his genre, within the same field as him. And by doing so, even as I watched him, my impression of him went up. I saw a genuine person promoting other people who he admired and was inspired by. And what that did for me watching was to reinforce that I like this guy. I trusted him. So, you know, it's not about trying to trick people for your own means, but it is about using the power of edification to build your own reputation. And it's so powerful. There's such a, a sense of competition in business, on YouTube, in life in general. There's this almost this idea that we can't all win. There has to be a winner and a loser. And if you've ever read any of Simon Sinek's stuff. He talks about, one of his books is, he talks about the infinite game. And in the infinite game, there are no winners and losers. You're not pushing everybody else down around you so that you can rise up. It's, it's not like that at all. It's about finding, um, playing your own game for a start. It's about playing to win against yourself and nobody else. But when we, when we play the infinite game, we remove competition. And actually, the whole idea of collaboration or at least edifying other people in your industry or in your area of, of expertise, it just it's a win-win for everybody. And especially on the YouTube platform, this is a massive platform and there are billions and billions of people out there watching, probably not billions and billions, but billions of people out there watching. So it's not like we have to have you know, a monopoly on all of those people. We only need to find a tiny little bit of the internet who like us and we can grow. So this idea that putting other people down or being competitive is the way forward is flawed in my opinion. The best way is to promote other people. And that's really the reason why I'm enjoying doing my Gen X Creator Spotlight live streams because it's my opportunity to promote other Gen X creators, small channels that are just getting started, but have so much energy and they, they are, you know, they're, they're people that I look at and I feel inspired by and I want to promote them. They're all in the Gen X space, exactly the same as me, although some of us are doing slightly different things. We're still trying to appeal to the same audience. So, you would think we'd want to, you know, stay in our own lane and not have that competition. But it's not. It's not about competition. It is absolutely about edification. So if you're around on Saturday, uh, the 12th of September, so tomorrow, basically, I'm going to try and get this one out today. I'm no editing. I might cut out a little bit my waffle because I'm fairly certain I've waffled a bit. But if you're around tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. UK time, I've got three more amazing Gen X creators joining me on my live stream. And if you go to my live tab, you can look back and see 
some of the other creators that I've spoken to. I'm very excited to be chatting to Alexa Saranoia on Monday to see about getting her onto a live stream or at least onto the Generation Exceptional podcast um, because I think she's so inspiring. I've watched her grow over the, the months and she's, she's absolutely brilliant. So if you don't know who Alexa is, I'm going to link to her below and um, I'll also li link to Rob and also the other two channels that he mentioned in his video. So go and check them all out because why wouldn't you? Let's big each other up. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Oh, I nearly blew a kiss there. Take care.